All right, guys, welcome back to Come At Me, Bro. Um, the first video is longer than I normally like to have, nine minutes. Um, thank you for sitting through that if you did. If not, that's cool too. Um, really, my target is about three minutes per video, especially on these uh, quick little games where we're just checking in on a scenario. So the scenario here is that I'm, I'm anticipating an attack from Belgium. Um, it just got to happen. He's got three oil fields to my two. Um, the only other place he can attack really is this huge, well fortified, and this is actually the uh, the winning, the first place uh, player in terms of victory points or whatever reward points, and which does mean he has a huge standing army, he has a huge army, he has lots of territories, and then it's just it's you have to attack in so many territories that by the time you even get close to his oil field, he's now organized his entire defense against you specifically. So it just makes sense that Belgium's going to attack in for me. So what what I'm doing here. Um, I went ahead and peeled off 102. I've got 423. That's not even counting the, the eight, like 160, um, infantry and eight, uh, cannon on the periphery here. Uh, so I could probably even probably should peel off even more. Uh, but what I'm going to do is this, um, yeah, I'll peel off more and send them, but for now I'm sending some tanks, a couple cannon and a hundred infantry or so up to uh, beef up this you can see another bombers coming in as well and so what's going to be here is of course the about uh you know 50 or so um on the periphery here 60 50 or 60 on the periphery the four cannon and then what's inside here of course will be 306 infantry 19 cannon five tanks and eight armored cars in addition to the nine bombers Remember, one's on its way and two fighters. So I'm also building here lots of fighters, getting defensive now. So one, two, three, fighters. Uh, and of course, a beautiful little rail gun, which is going to, it's going to have a throw range out to beyond these territories, which is great. Um, I can just be at anyone who comes in, I can just be throwing long shells at them while they're dealing with these outer territories. Um, also trying to build these up. Right now, I'm still building them up to level four factories, railways and aerodromes but uh after i build this level four i can start building these up to level five defensive fortifications might yeah i might just start doing that you can tell i did that here uh above getting higher level factories because if there is an attack it's probably going to come soon so i'll tell you this as soon as these are done building um this factory um and this factory I'm going to do what I did in the other three territories and that start building up those defensive fortifications. So the other thing I'm doing here, um, wanted to also let you know is I'm concerned about this land bridge here. So one of the, one of the weaknesses he has is that he's so spread out, you know, he's got to move guys from his home territory. Uh, you know, what I would do if I was him is I'd, I'd beef this up real good. And then from time to time, when it overpopulates, I'd send big groups of men over to this one or this one. Right. So this is like the this is definitely his supply station. He sends everything into here, everything, you know, that gets built through most of this territory, his homeland. You know, he's got three factories at least back here. And then, of course, he's got five factories here. So and he's just he's had this for longer. So there's going to be more people there. And you can see the same thing with me. The first thing I captured has a lot more people in it, just a lot more stuff. And what happens is every once in a while, this just overflows. And I send over like I did here. Um, I've already sent over 100 guys previously on a raft and I'm sending a hundred more and I'll just keep doing that um, as is appropriate. So I, you know, I suspect he's going to attack up into this guy. It just makes more sense. You know, there's just definitely going to be, so I think I'm going to send another hundred up there as a matter of fact. So as soon as I get off camera, I'm going to do that. But here's the other thing. So if we go to war, he is absolutely going to capture one or both of these territories immediately, you know, and then I won't really be able to do much against him in my home territories. You know, at that point, um, I'm just going to be struggling to kind of keep as many of these back back country territories as I can while continuing, of course, always producing in my home eight can never be uh, attacked back there. So what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and build both of these up to level three. They're both building up to level three now. And I'm stacking. I've got 25 guys and two cannon here, 25 guys and one cannon here. And I'm just going to start from now on. Whatever I produce in this quadrant is going to that stronghold. It's going to here and here. Now, does he have, can he just steamroll me with tons of stuff? Of course he can. 
absolutely he can. But my my primary concern here is just to put a little, you know, just to put a thorn in his in his paw, you know, um, just make it hard for him to clip. First of all, this is my resupply route that I need. You can see I always build railways, at least a railway path. You can see the entire way is railed. I've got, you know, of course, I've got my uh, uh, harbors in both of these to make it quicker to disembark and reembark. Everything's about resupplying, getting things quickly there. So um, this is my resupply route, but it's also his resupply route. So if I can spike these, and who knows how long it'll be before he attacks? I don't know. I really have no idea. Um, but the point being, the longer he waits, the bigger these are going to be. I'm going to build them up to level five defensive fortifications, and I'm just going to keep pouring infantry and, and cannon in there as I develop them. So that's, by the way, what's going on back here. That's what's growing back here is cannon, cannon, cannon. So um, kind of a fun thing there, putting a defensive spike here where um, before he even makes a move. And we'll just see. Like, it'll be fun. Like, if I'm predicting correctly, then uh, I'll be able to do some damage, you know? Like, I'll be able to – I don't know. We'll see. So, anyway, how am I doing here with time? Trying to keep it – oh, Jesus. Trying to keep it in the three- to four-minute range. That's six, so that's good enough. Um, I'm going to check in with you, I think, either either once I get a, another level beefier defense or when he attacks. So, thanks for checking in, guys. I'll see you next time. Adios, amigos.